Yeah, John, uh, we started off the morning with a lot of frustrated parents and students alike. Uh, normally, uh, at the start of school year, places like Green Valley High School would be absolutely packed and still lots of people in the parking lot uh, in an afternoon. But this is a brand new year and a brand new environment. It's social and distance learning, basically, is what we're dealing with. But Canvas just simply did not want to cooperate when they went uh, online this morning. It took a few hours, but they finally did get it up and running most likely usage uh, and bandwidth. That was the preliminary explanation as to why Canvas was not working when students tried to log in for the start of the school year. Dr. Jesus Jara says that the school district's IT department contacted Canvas as they heard from parents and teachers that the system wasn't working. Majority of our issues that we're facing uh, as far as password, parent portal, technical support, and Google. By 10.30, Canvas was operational, according to Jara. This is uncharted territory for both students and the district as the school year starts with distance learning. District A trustee Deanna Wright says they were expecting challenges with more than 300,000 students enrolled for the upcoming school year. And with the majority of learning online for the first time for the district, problems are going to come up. But we really want everyone to please bear with us as we get the kinks worked out. Distance education is not ideal. We all acknowledge that. We got to be flexible. We have to uh, be patient and have grace. Jara says teachers that he met with since last week are ready for the school year. Are so excited to welcome our kids, and I am so proud of the work that they're doing. And I, I, I jumped into a few of the of the Google sessions with them today. Up, and the kids are happy. The kids kids are excited. Kids are happy. Kids are excited. They're back in school, albeit, again, distance learning. Meantime, there are some 68,000 kids that are unaccounted for at this point in time. Now, Dr. Jara says that may have something to do with the fact that some of these kids already have their own computer devices and they just simply have not logged in yet. He says an inventory is being done and principals and people are contacting these students to find out just where they are. Reporting live, Les Griffin, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.